All right, guys, in this video, we are taking some more time here to talk about the upcoming State of Play event that could be happening as soon as next week. I want to go over a few very interesting pieces of information that have popped up over the past 24 to 48 hours that certainly hint at something going down very soon here. We're talking about Sony updating their Future of Gaming playlist. We're talking about Walmart Canada talking about PS5 pre-orders. We're talking about Spider-Man apparently being a playable character in the upcoming Marvel's Avengers game, but he will be exclusive to PS4 and PS5. And so, yeah, had to take some time to go over this, but before I get into it, I wanna remind you that tomorrow, Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, we will be doing the next episode of Press X Podcast live here on the channel. So I hope to see you there. We're gonna have a lot of really great topics to talk about. It's gonna be a good time. But getting into it here, says that Sony has updated its Future of Gaming playlist on YouTube, which compiled all of the announcements from its recent PlayStation 5 reveal event. This could be the first hint that fresh news is on the way, with rumors rife that the Japanese giant will hold some kind of event in early August to share more information about its next generation console. Now, a lot of people have been pointing this out to me, and I don't want to say that this confirms anything. The only thing it does confirm is that Sony has updated this playlist that is dedicated to the PlayStation 5 and the future of gaming. And so it does seem very likely that they're uploading videos here or possibly even the entire state of play or new trailers or all of the above and getting it prepped for when they actually let it go live later this week. We've kind of seen this before, and this is another reason why I'm taking time to point this out is because in the past, when we've seen Sony update their different playlists, it's usually because they are getting ready to announce some new stuff. So this is a huge hint that we could in fact be seeing a state of play as soon as next week. And if this is in fact the case, I would expect to hear about it on Monday or Tuesday. And if the rumor is to be believed, Thus far, it will be actually going down on August 6th. So very exciting. Keep your eyes peeled. Moving right along here, talking about Walmart Canada and pre-orders. It says here, Walmart Canada is getting prospective buyers ready for the PS5 pre-orders. The company tweeted a link to sign up for updates and make sure you can secure yours on day one. Are you ready for PS5 pre-orders to open up? The post from Walmart Canada Gaming asks. Stay in the loop to secure a PlayStation 5 on day one by signing up for updates. Now, why is this relevant? This is relevant because, well, not only have we all been patiently waiting to find out when we can actually pre-order a PlayStation 5, because many of us want to do so as soon as possible to ensure we can have one when it launches, but a lot of people are anticipating that if Sony does do a state of play uh, within the next week or two, is it safe to assume we will hear something about pre-orders? Now with this, I'm a little bit unsure. I wanna say yes. However, it's hard to say that definitively because in the past, Sony has only dedicated state of plays to talking about games and games alone. I mean, I think there was a case where one time they announced a special edition uh, PS4. I think it was the Death Stranding edition. So it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. In my opinion, what seems most likely here is that pre-orders are going to be opening up within the next two to three weeks. I think three weeks might be pushing it. I wanna say two weeks. And what we're seeing here is Walmart Canada essentially letting us know that Sony's gonna be talking more about the PS5 very soon. And if we do see them talk about it during this state of play, to me, it's more than likely they're going to give us a date for the pre-orders to open up. So they're not gonna open them up the day of the state of play, but they're gonna say, oh, you've been waiting for the PS5. We're here to let you know that on August, whatever date they wanna put up there is when you can pre-order it. So be ready and look out. Uh, that's my assumption. I could be wrong. Maybe they'll open up the same day. Uh, when it comes to pricing, honestly, I think that's anybody's guess. I would like to see them announce the price of the PS5, but I just don't know that they're gonna do that during a state of play. And so, yeah, either way, you can rest assured that Walmart Canada is letting us know uh, very clearly here that PlayStation 5 pre-orders will be opening up soon. So again, keep your eyes peeled for that. Finally, we're talking about this rumor that Spider-Man will be a playable character in Marvel's Avengers. And I find this very interesting because I had something to say about this on Twitter. And apparently I actually got some pushback on this because this is a very anti-consumer thing if it's true. I'll get into that in a minute here. 
says a new retail listing may have revealed that Spider-Man will be playable in Marvel's Avengers, but only on PlayStation 4 and likely PlayStation 5 once the game releases on that console. We spotted an image from UK retailer base.com that featured the text play as Spider-Man exclusively on PS4. This appeared in the description of the game, but has now been removed from the store page for Marvel's Avengers. This may have been an error. However, it doesn't seem entirely out of the realm of possibility that Spider-Man would be uh, would only be playable on the PlayStation version of the game. Uh, we have Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. They are both exclusive to Sony's platform and Sony actually owns the licensing rights to Spider-Man characters in a variety of different mediums. Now, this is incredibly interesting to me for a couple of reasons. The first is this also, believe it or not, lets us know that there's going to be a state of play very soon. The reason why I say this is because I believe Sony does have the marketing rights to the Marvel's Avengers game. And this sounds like the perfect type of third party announcement that you would want to have at your next state of play event, considering how soon the game is coming out. And I think it's a big deal because it's Spider-Man and a lot of people are actually somewhat upset about this, at least some people. I don't want to say a lot because I want to say as a PlayStation owner, I think this is actually really cool and that's why some people were pushing back on me because they're saying this is unfair because this game is releasing on xbox and other platforms why would you exclude them and look all i have to say to that is this i am a playstation owner and as a playstation owner when sony does stuff like this while i can understand some people view it as anti-consumer or unfair all i can help but think to myself again as a playstation owner is this investment in this console continues to pay off it continues to feel worth it. And I'm just gonna be honest here when I say that this is smart on Sony's part because this is going to ensure that anybody who may have been on the fence about where they're gonna play Marvel's Avengers, a massive third party title, they're going to play it on PlayStation now. And if you're somebody who only owns an Xbox, well, I can understand why you would be upset over this. I can honestly understand why you would think it's unfair. However, my only recommendation to you at that point is considering how many third party deals Sony has struck this entire generation, you should have either already upgraded to a PS5 or if you haven't, you should, or not PS5, PS4, maybe even a PS5 at this point, but you should certainly consider doing so now if this is a game you're looking forward to and, uh, Spider and you want to play Spider-Man because he's a big character, right? And it just... It makes sense because you look at Spider-Man PS4, so it's like the character itself is already basically exclusive in you know in a meaningful way to the PlayStation console. So to me, it just kind of makes sense. I can understand why some people would be upset, but honestly, this is just a really smart move on Sony's part. And I don't think there's anything wrong with PlayStation owners feeling like this is just a really nice bonus that they're getting here. Now we do have to understand this might not be true, but again, the timing of it is incredibly interesting because if this were something uh, that is if this is something that were to be announced soon it makes sense that it would be done at an upcoming state of play so you put all of these things together and long story short guys it seems likely that next week sony will in fact be announcing a state of play i don't want to say it definitively but if i was a betting man i would say yes they're going to announce it next week so look out for that and I do at this point believe it will be going down on August 6th. I'd be kind of surprised at this point if it didn't. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, there's just a lot of mounting evidence here. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I'm going to be really interested to see what you have to say. What do you think about Sony updating their PlayStation 5 playlist? What do you think about Walmart Canada tweeting out about PlayStation 5 pre-orders? And what do you think about Spider-Man apparently being exclusive to the PS4 and PS5 version of Marvel's Avengers. I will be very interested to see what you guys have to say. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it or found it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.